everybody, a quick video about the importance of programming your brain. So I see this with my kids and I see this with a lot of my clients and I certainly saw this with me for many, many years and I really wish my parents kind of made this a bigger parenting lesson when I was growing up. But we all know the voice inside our brain and we know that we listen to it probably more often than we listen to our friends and or we think our friends are more negative but we don't realize how negative our own voice is. Um, so without being all crazy kumbaya with you, I just want to express that if you're finding that your inner voice is self-sabotaging you with the program at all, you have to figure out a way to challenge that and balance it. Because at the end of the day, you and what's inside your brain is about the only thing that's going to get you through making those tough choices. So I know some of my clients wish they could grind me up into a little pill and I could like zap them at 11 o'clock at night when they want to eat something. But until that that is physically capable, you have to find your own version of the zap, okay? And a lot of that time is stopping the thought that you have and redirecting it. I'm a big believer in affirmations and positive affirmations, and you have to define for yourself who you are. So if you're someone that's feeling unhealthy, maybe an affirmation is, I'm a fit, healthy warrior, you know, or something like that, that helps you make a choice. I know for a lot of people when they're quitting smoking, having a phrase like, I'm a non-smoker. So kind of looking at redefining who you are. So just coming up with a phrase that you're saying in the positive is key. Another thing, another tool someone had said to me was about using the voices inside your head and how you manage them as if you would gardening. And every time a negative thought pops up, own it, hear it, but identify it as a weed in your garden and make a decision to pluck that weed. So if you hear the voice inside your head say, go ahead and eat the ice cream, you're just gonna you know, cheat later, or go ahead and eat the ice cream, you need it. You need to hear that voice and own it and understand what it's doing for you. If you are trying to get to a goal Every decision you make matters right now. And I'm not saying that you can't ultimately have ice cream or can't ultimately have pizza, but depending on where you're trying to get to right now, you have to be strict with your choices about not making those quote unquote cheats, okay? So please pay some attention to what your inner voice is saying and make sure it's saying you are kicking ass, so proud of you today. Maybe come up with some kind of a reward system for yourself for every day that you do great, don't have it be a reward system on food, have it be a reward system on exercise or watching a TV show or, you know, seeing a movie or maybe you just get a star and like we do with our kids, you know, a certain number of stars means you can go do something. But you have to see an ultimate goal at the end of it that's going to make you feel great. And in order to get to that ultimate goal, you're going to have to control the voice inside your head and make sure that it's speaking positively to you because you deserve this, okay? And I'm so proud of all of you guys just for, for registering, let alone committing and getting this done. Bye.